what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to bitcoin daily for another video today we are doing a uh market analysis going over um the charts and what's been going on what we're looking forward to this weekend and what uh i'm gonna give you guys some of my trade ideas that i'm looking at currently so um let's jump right in as you guys know um this week well last week was kind of a crazy week for us uh we had two big news stories that affected the price of bitcoin uh the first one being the whole bitmex thing um we had the issue with uh bitmex getting some charges about uh running an exchange without you know doing kyc and things like that so basically for running an exchange illegally they got charged by the us um, so they're currently facing those charges as something that they're fighting. Um, and there was a report that about a hundred and like almost $200 million in Bitcoin was removed out of BitMEX over the weekend. Um, with that happening, then a lot of people, uh, started, uh, shorting Bitcoin as well with that, uh, over the weekend with that news. Plus with the news of the president, Donald Trump, he got, um, coronavirus <laughs> and uh it is definitely not a laughing matter it's just such a so bizarre such a bizarre story um and just everything's been bizarre ever since that um however uh, all the doctors have been saying that he's okay that he's recovering fine um so the market's been going back up it's been pushing back up not only bitcoin but uh the stocks and equities market is all green today um, the Bitcoin market for for the most part is pretty green today um, where we've been trading around the 10,700 range uh, the last 24 hours um, you see the last seven days we're only down now 1.82 percent um, Ethereum still at that 350 range um, XRP is at the 24 cent range still. Binance at 28, it's down 1% 1, 1 today. Uh, Bitcoin Cash, pretty flat on the day. Chainlink up threes, it's back at that $10 resistance level. Um, and yeah, it's pretty much it. It's pretty flat today, nothing too crazy. Uh, There's also been another report that uh, Bitcoin's volatility is at a uh, all time not all time low but it's uh, the lowest it's been in the last six months um, and it also dropped in the last 30 days Bitcoin's volatility has dropped about 45% according to um, coin something I don't, know, I don't remember their names um, but it's like a coin metric coin metrics or something like that um, so yeah, so so that's a, so we can see that the volatility has has get, been getting tighter and tighter. The range has been getting tighter here. Um, as you can see here, th this is uh, we're looking at the weekly chart. We're still trading in this Fibonacci zone uh, that we've been the, the Fibonacci retracement levels that we've been looking at. Um, as you can see here, uh, we had a pin bar the week before, and then la now last week we got another pin bar here. So we retested this this area again. Um, so as you guys know, we were entering positions at the t this 10,400 level um, with our targets being uh, 10,600 and 10,800 here. So if anyone took that trade, uh, that was definitely a profitable trade there. Let's go to the daily chart, uh, zoom in a bit on this market to see what's been going on. So as you guys can see here, we definitely hit that 10,400 range. We, we took trades there. Um, this has been a level, a Fibonacci level we've been following and we've been trading the 61.8% range. Um, and we've gone all the way back up to that top 50% range, with, which is a 10,800 zone, um, which is the top of that level, uh, which is playing a resistance as it's played here before and it's played here before. So that's a spot that we're taking profits at. And if we do see a breakout, we will be entering a breakout trade. Um, so trades that we're looking at basically either back here at this Fibonacci level, the 61.8% level, which is about 10,400. 
Um, then there's a minor support here at 10,600. So we've also entered trades using this support. This is a support you can you can definitely enter. Um, and then uh, the next trade that we're looking we're looking for is above 10,800. We're looking to enter trades above that on a breakout. So that'll be a breakout entry we have there. Um, that's basically it for now. Um, for Bitcoin, those are the only trades that we're really looking at. Um, if we go on to Ethereum, Ethereum's pretty much following Bitcoin. Uh, I think pretty much everything else has been following Bitcoin that uh, we're going to look at. So, um, yeah, Ethereum, kind of the same setup. It dropped down to this, um, what is it, 330 level, 320. It actually dropped all the way down to what was the low here. Uh, the low is 313 so uh the play would have been a break of 320 would have been the first breakout entry here as you can see that took off um then a play of this a uh, break of this fibonacci level also um and now we're currently at resistance here which is uh the fibonacci level the 50 percent fibonacci level which is 360. um we're also playing this 350 zone um, so 350 is actually a pretty decent support to enter um, and then your first target is 360 and uh, so if you don't want to play the 350 you can use uh, 360 as a breakout which is that Fibonacci level we're looking at um, with your first target being 370 um, so yeah other than that uh, is for support entry uh, 350 is the only support entry we're, re we're really only interested right now uh, everything else is a little too far so it it depend on what you know the market did at that point uh, but you could always use these Fibonacci levels um, Bitcoin cash hasn't really moved much it dropped when Bitcoin dropped and then it just kind of went back up and back to its range so it's been basically trading between 216 Looks like 216 and 235 is the range where it's really trading at right now. Um, I'm just not interested in any of these ranges. Uh, 220 is is a support level you can use here. Uh, your stop would have to be below 216, probably below 215, honestly. Um, yeah, it, it's not something I'm I'm interested in, but you can enter this if if you like. Uh, just know that the pattern is a bear flag right now so um, and also it's following Bitcoin so even though the pattern is a bear flag doesn't really matter it's more on what Bitcoin is gonna do um, it's just gonna follow it so um, a technical analysis on this chart right now it doesn't really matter too much um, Litecoin same thing Litecoin is just following Bitcoin so it dropped when Bitcoin dropped and now it's back up I'm not looking for any entries here um, just nothing to enter here at the moment. The, the moves are so small. Look at this move. It, the range is between $51 to $43, $7 range. Not interested in trading it. Uh, XRP, same thing. It's just following Bitcoin, as you can see. Followed the, when the drop, followed the rise back up. Um, the range is $0.25 cents to $0.23. Cents, so it's a $0.02 cents range. Um, this drop to 22 was just because of all the news. Um, so, so that's the range you, you'll be looking to trade. You'll be looking to enter on 23 cents. Your target would be around 25. Um, so if you're looking for a breakout entry, it would be above 25 cents. Uh, Chainlink, looking at Chainlink, it is kind of the same, man. It, it's just, it's doing lower lows and lower highs. Um, not interested in entering Chainlink under $10 to be honest. Um, so if I'm looking to enter Chainlink, I'm looking for a breakout above $10. Um, if it goes be below that, the only entry I'd be looking at is uh, entry at $7, a $7 support entry. Um, Tezos, Tezos really hasn't done much either. Tezos has continued giving lower lows, lower highs. Um, not something I'm looking to enter. If you want an entry uh, as close to two dollars as possible, would be the entry with a stop or under 190. Um, Neo is at 17 dollars, so we did trade this a bit earlier when it hit the 25 mark. 
Um, so here I'm not really interested. Um, I guess if I'm looking for a trade to enter here, $17 is a first support. Uh, $16 is a second support. Um, so I'd be looking in that $16 to $17 range for support entry. Uh, breakout entry, I'm looking for something above $20 to enter. Uh, that's about it, man. Cardano. Cardano has not really been doing much. Um, it's finally broke out of this falling, uh, you know, thing that's it's been doing for a while now since July, really. Um, so just got to wait to see if it breaks through this resistance right here that I have marked. But uh, my entry would be I would need a breakout above a thousand Satoshis um, to enter that. Um, so I'm not really looking for any support entries here, even though support entry would be at 800 Satoshis if you're interested in that. Um, look at Bitcoin futures here. It, let me see. It opened a bit up from uh, Friday, but it, I mean, very little. Let me see. Is it, it's green from Friday, but there's no gap. So we're, we're good there. Um, it's kind of following the same thing it's slowly grinding back up um so let's just we just gotta wait and see what happens this week with all the news and all that uh as long as all the news in the stock market is is green and bullish then uh bitcoin should also be bullish as long as there's no negative news about bitmex um it, we should also be bullish so uh we're still trading above ten thousand. as long as we're above ten thousand, guys i'm bullish on bitcoin um, my only concern would be if it dropped under 10k, then we could be looking at a drop to around 9200, 9200 to a 9000. Um, so as long as we're above this, this zone right here, um, I'm pretty bullish on this and I'm still long. Um, I'm only looking for long trades and I'm not looking to short right now. So, uh, that's basically it guys. Uh, this was a pretty quick one. Tried to just get in and out as quick as possible. Give you guys my thoughts and opinions on Bitcoin and what were my what my trade ideas are, what numbers I'm looking at to enter trades. Um, what else? Uh, let's do a Bitcoin question of the day. Uh, so the question of the day is going to be: What is the support that I'm looking to enter Bitcoin at? What is the support I'm looking to enter Bitcoin at? And what is the uh, resistance i'm looking to enter a breakout trade on and that's it guys that is a question of the day answer that drop it in the comments then once we get 30 likes or more i will choose a winner um appreciate you guys whoever stayed to the end appreciate you make sure to hit a like make sure to subscribe and follow the channel for continued updates market analysis live streams uh, tutorials, all sorts of free content. Appreciate you guys. Have a good one. See you guys tomorrow. Peace and love.